Good day everyone, this is Dyer Satchel, the most handsome, yekebo, Africanicious, adrenaline pumping, a physic power husband. And as usual, I will have my sweet porero, sugarlicious, hot baby girl, dressed completely in African attire. Good day, have a word. I'm Jacket Soluadi Setro. It's a pleasure having you around today on the Setro's channel or Setro's vlog. So in case you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the notification bell. Thank you to all our patrons and, and supporters. Yes, you can be part of our patrons for as low as $3 per month. So today, what are we going to be discussing? You might be wondering that why are we dressed this way? We are celebrating life. Gen, gen. Everybody say gen, gen. Gen, gen, gen. Gen, gen, gen. You know, we are used to and that's our life maybe you've known her with joy love as in i want to spread the joy message the love message and that's why we even went ahead to open a foundation called cetrus foundation for helping the less privileged to make sure that there's somebody in life not knowing that we had a counterpart hmm Little did we know that we have someone with the same mindset that has done something like this before this time. Someone much older than us that has this kind of vision and she lived by it and she died in it. And today, we the Cetros have come out in our African attire to celebrate a wonderful woman by name... Mommy Ellen Augustine Houston. She lived a very impactful life between 1945 to the 12th of February, 2020. Word. Uh, no, no, no. If we just want to keep talking about her, you, 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 the, today is just not going to wrap up. She's a strong African woman with qualities of love, understanding for others and worth. She's strong, she's witty, and she lived with passion for helping the less fortunate and disheartened, which moved her to set up a foundation where she lived in the Netherlands, which was called uh, the New Covenant Fellowship dedicated to helping the less fortunate and disheartened. Her, whose life would have been no would have been of no meaning to date without her intervention. You know, whenever I look at this woman, when we were going through a biography, I was just looking at us. How our life will be at the point we get to that old age period with. Uh, all the little efforts we are doing now, how it would have grown to touch thousands and millions of lives because what we are looking at is impacting the lives of millions of people. And another thing that caught my attention is the fact that, do you know that this African mother, this African outstanding prolific mother happens to be sharing the same birthday month with me and our late daughter. This African mother was giving birth to in the year 1945, April 16 to be precise. And I was giving birth to in the year 1980, April 12th. And our daughter that we lost, our little baby that we lost, was giving birth to in the year 2018, April 4th to be precise. Is, do you call that a coincidence? Okay, maybe many things are coincident. Now, seeing this woman with the mind value of impacting other people's life aside our own immediate family circle is something that I call a top-notch character of an African tigress. I never got to know Mama during her lifetime, but we only know her daughter, Madame Edwina Taylor Flatten, and she's been of good character helping us to impact the life of African youth. She sent for the graduation of one, this, this, really interested in touching life. So we're, we're so endeared to her. She became our friend. Uh, uh, she became our friend, the Cetra's friend, not knowing that she inherited it from her mom. And she's the only daughter of Mama Ellen. And not knowing that she got those virtues from her mom. Who says characters are not transferable? Especially when you have good qualities from the mother, definitely is going to be reflective on the children, on the daughter. And that is why we are not surprised that the daughter 
is of this value and as such she has been supportive highly supportive she doesn't want to use her ear to hear anything about the pain of the african child she always rises up to support us to get to those african youth in taking good care of their needs little wonder during our burial maybe you've seen the clip as in a white man was just crying different people were crying i was i never knew her but the clip ends yet heart to my heart because i was seeing that this woman has really touched lives and that is why at the cetros and the cetros foundation all our mindset is not about the ephemeral things of this world that we can only play with for a little period of time and it evaporates into the thin air because there will be a time in which we are going to grow older and older and we grow older to the point that this world will not be able to hold us more and we'll be jetting out. The question is, by the time you and I are going to be jetting out of this world, what impact have you had, have I had on the lives of people that are not in the capacity to pay back? And that's what has always been our take on our foundation and on all our platforms. We've always been saying it that make sure that you have positive impact to anyone around you. We are not color burned. We are not race burned. Anyone, any human, just offer her help. Show some love. Joy is medicine. It keeps you going. By the time you're going, by the time you are gone, who will remember you? This mother at uh, Madam or Mommy Ellen had done great things that people keep remembering her for. They said, if not for our lives, the lives of those people would have been nothing to write home about now. So that's why you can do some help today. If you don't have the capacity, just share the videos of the youth we are trying to help. That's what we're saying. It's it's not big. It's not you have one cent. No, you can just subscribe to Decetro's channel. Or if you, as you subscribe, you can share the videos so that more people get to see and more of these youths are helped and their lives are not wasted. Or you can just do anything. You can be a, a one-time donor. You can be a monthly donor. It's not about hers. It's not about anyone. It's about lives being affected positively such that when you are no longer living, those lives will be living the life you've not lived. And you'll be grateful to God. That's the essence of life. And should you be saying you do not have any cent, any money to contribute to help the Cetros Foundation in reaching out to this African youth, and you have skill, you have talent that you can impact into the life of this youth, we welcome people like you that can give this our youth free online training as we are in the period of reshaping the minds of this african youth to become more productive and customer centric education is needed for them to grow and that's just it today it's a wonderful one madam edwina taylor flatten is our friend and these are mom mama ellen Augustine Austin is her mom. And we she... call her mama because she's Mama Africa. And with all due respect, I dub my cap to say, we pray that Africa and the whole world continues to bring out good people like this that have the mindset of setting people free from the bottom of whatever challenges they have been into. With this, we are so glad and grateful to be associated with this beautiful mama. I also forgot to mention, as part of our characteristics, she's a devout believer in the Lord. So whatever you believe in also affects you. So make sure you follow your belief, but let it be the one that will impact people positively. Such Whatever that... your system of believing, always ensure that it translates you to becoming an helper to the upcoming generation. Because when all is said and, and done, done, only what you have done, for God and for others, we really, really matter and outlast you. So, Mama, we say adieu. We love you. We appreciate you. And real condolences to Mrs. Edwina Flatten. We want to believe God will really console you. She was really crying. She cried. She, she tried, but it's her world. And so now I'm going to be leaving you with 
some clips I got from uh, the daughter, which was actually the work of an outstanding white white man whose life was touched by this grammar and he decided to do a very nice video shoot. I'm just going to edit it in my own African way and allow you to enjoy now. Okay, till we come your way next time we remain the Cetras, don't forget the joy therapy. That cures it all. That gives you the strength to live and help others and live a fulfilled life. So, that's it. Catch you, love you. Bye-bye. You may like to watch this, this video or like this. this. In behalf of the all the church family of Zaldos, I express my condolence for this lost. Let's pray together. Death brings pain, death brings grief, death brings separation from all of our loved ones. But I want to say to you today, on the authority of the word of God, that death is not the end. When I think of my mother, especially the, since she left, the only the most emotion that I get is a smile or a laugh because I think of the memories of how she made us all laugh, always made us happy. We have, I have leuke herinneringen and not ik alleen, ook andere zusters. Dus we kunnen haar alleen maar met de gouden griffel kunnen we er hier neerzetten. We, all of us who would pay her a visit, we have so many nice experiences, so we can only say she's gold. Hello, everyone. I want to read this poem because my mother forgot her glasses. I awake each morning to start a new day, but the pain of losing you never goes away. I go about the things I have to do, and as the hours pass, I think again of you. I want to call you and just hear your voice. Then I remember that I have no choice. For you are not here, and now my heart cries. Just to see you again, to tell you goodbye. Why cry for a soul set free? Miss me a little, but not too long. Hi. Um, I told myself I was going to write something, but I couldn't think of anything that could really express how I feel about my grandmother. Since she passed, I haven't shed a tear. <laughs> now I'm standing here. So, my grandmother meant the world to me. She was like my second mother. Been a long way from where we began. And I tell you all about it when I see you again. She was a sister, and she was a best friend to me. And she loved singing. She would take the hymn book, we must sing. I said, but well, I don't know how to sing. She said, I will teach you how to sing. So Tasu Ellen was really a woman of God. She loved to sing hymns with us, and you could see the joy and the happiness on her face. Let us sing it together. I'm coming up, coming up, Jesus. It's all the rough side.